first broadband connection. You're like, all right, I could download music on Napster. Remember those days? It was so much fun. Um, so Kirk Hammett, who was not really responsible for this, I think it was really just mostly Lars, mm-hmm. um, says Metallica did not make a difference in suing Napster. No, in the, in the long run, obviously, well, well, in a way, today all streaming is done legally now. I mean, who really... You know, unless you're like Gary or something. Like, <laughs> I'm sure, there are still some people stealing it. But. Yeah, I, I have no need to. I could just listen to it. Like, I don't really steal anything anymore. Like, I have no. I just, I could stream it. You know, and uh, you know. Um, but they are making a lot less money from the streaming. A lot less money, Metallica. Metallica a lot, is making less. Yeah, a lot less. That that's always the trick, isn't it? It's like, are you losing money? Well, we're making a lot less money. Well, you know, what can I tell you, man? Um, that's life. Uh, that, that's always the thing with like big corporate. Oh, we're making less money. This comment came from a podcast, which I listened to almost the whole thing. Of. <laughs> um, Dean Del Rey. Yes. Interesting guy. Uh, yeah, I didn't know he had such good guests. It's kind of cool. I guess he was in a band too, but I, don't know, I haven't looked him up. Anyway, Kirk was saying that uh, musicians, he almost made it seem like they're reduced to being like traveling minstrels now. Oh, really? Is that what you are, Kirk Hammett? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> this, uh, really with your... Um, they make the bulk of their money through, you know, playing live. With your hundred acres of land in like San Francisco? Yeah. Is that, is that what that is? Yeah, exactly. It's a lot of these new bands wouldn't be anything without streaming. That's It's like, yeah, because the, you know, the $15 to buy an album is such a huge barrier for entry. Like, I was terrified to buy CDs back in the day. Yeah. I would only buy something used for like six. Yeah, CDs used to cost a lot of money back, and now CDs are completely. Like, listen, I tell my band that I'm still in momentarily. Um, they're like, "Oh, we're gonna make CDs." I'm like, "Why? Like, nobody fucking wants to buy CDs. Make T-shirts. Make make merch. Like, if you want to make media, make a record. Records are expensive to make, but people will buy them because it's a record. It's something you can hold. It's like, whoa, look at this. It has artwork. You know, or even a cassette tape. For God, God forbid. Because it's sort of like this retro thing. I mean, I have no... And they're very cheap to make. Yeah, and they're very cheap to make. That's a thing. Um, but, you know, like I... Uh, like, you got to give them something tangible. Give them something, you know, that looks cool. And, it, you know, and a, and a cassette tape could do that. You know, shirts are great. You know, bands need, really need to make money off merch. You cannot sell... C- nobody... Like, who has a CD player anymore? Like, who really does that anymore? You know, it's all about streaming. And obviously, yeah, like, those streaming services have a lot of control over that. Um, even now you're, you're at the level of Metallica, who gets obviously a lot of share of their plays, more than most bands. But you Here's know, the thing though, someone, some evil person is going to come up with a way to monetize music better that will also be extremely convenient. Because the thing is, it's like all these guys are like, and Lars is like, uh, people just want to steal all our music. Well, We're all a... thieves. The thing is, people are just lazy, and yeah. it was so much easier just to download shit online. And if you make it now, at this point, it's easier to pay a fee. And stream it, yeah. Than it is to seal it, yeah. And that's, so that's what most people do. That's what it really people was. People are willing to pay for convenience. Yeah, that's what it. That's all it was. When I was young, I would download games because you had to go to the store. Now there's Steam, so I will pay for them. I will gladly pay for them. So I'm sure there are many people brainstorming now how to charge people more for. Even more convenient package yeah. for music. I tell you, media in general. One thing I think, though, the whole you know, and sort of Gene Simmons always brings up this point for a lot of people. You know, it kind of affected the quality of music in some ways that there's no incentive to make it. But I think it doesn't affect a lot of smaller artists. They want to make it either way, and maybe they go into it knowing they're not really going to make money. You know, like they're like, hey, we're going to do this. Um, We'll be successful. You know, we'll Music do the hard not work. Making money. Not really. Not with these young men. And I think they're aware of that. Like, I don't think they have any delusions that they're going to be like Metallica one day. Like any, you know, say like Midnight or something. I don't think they have any, even if they got really popular, you know, like think of something. Like, some, you know what's funny is that the Midnight guy, yeah. he won't stream any music. He's like Neil Young. Well, he, oh, he won't listen to his music is streaming though. Oh yeah. No, yeah. but he himself. And he won't even do activities while he listens to music. Oh, wow, really? Like, he just listens to music. He won't, like, run or something? No. Because I know he runs. Well, like he, how would he run? Look, he look at those listen, abs. He only listens to records. L- look at Athenar's abs. Look at those abs. That he guy. only listens to records. He also doesn't have, a, like, a smartphone. Oh, he's such, oh wow. Oh, wow, he's one of those <laughs> he's guys. A he, no, he's he's like Jesse Ventura. 
He's like, I, you know, I have a throwaway phone. You know, he's like, I live in Mexico yeah, half he, the year. He's got the right attitude because the shit is all out there on the services. Like, so he's mm. like, well, I still want people to listen to it, even if they're not doing it the way that I like. All right. Well, that's, yeah, well yeah, I, I, you know, it's, uh, he's very dedicated. He's obviously a very intense person. Um, but, you know, someone like Ghost, for example, they're obviously pretty successful for the standards of today for a newer band. Like, there's only very few bands that are going to hit that level, you know, that they have filling arenas. Mm-hmm. There's not, there's not a lot of bands who are going to hit that level, especially making the kind of music they're making. I mean, their music obviously sounds very friendly. It's very safe. But, you know, the lyrics are still, you know, though less and less, though. They're, they're you know, right. They're becoming more and more playful with the Satanism stuff every every album, you know. So I guess even the mainstream, you know, is like OK with that, you know. All right. So and what is happening in the mainstream? Uh, dun, dun, dun. <laughs> 